Hey everyone, today is Thursday, August 19th. The time right now is 2.32 p.m. and the temperature is around 19 degrees Celsius. I'm here at a familiar spot. This is a parking lot in the Young and Eglinton neighborhood. And for this one, I'll be hopping onto my Rise Fixie electric bike there. And I'll be riding east over to the Don Mills neighborhood. And I'll hop onto the Moccasin Trail and check out something that I've always wanted to ride my bike over to. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. And that's the Rainbow Tunnel. I'm also using a second camera to record this. I have my GoPro on the chest mount. And I have the Pocket 2 here. I'm not sure if I'm picking that up in the GoPro or not in my pocket. So if I do see something interesting on the way, I'll be able to whip this camera out. So I'm just trying something different. Okay, let's hop onto the bike. And I'll fire up the e-bike here. So it should be somewhere around 10 kilometers to get to the Rainbow Tunnel. As I navigate this bumpy parking lot on my way. Oh, this is awkward. I'll just squeak through the entrance here. At least I know my handlebars now fit under that gate. So this here is Castlefield Avenue. And what I'll do is I'll turn left onto Young Street here. And then I'll make an immediate right and start making my way over to the east. And this is Keewatin Avenue. I don't think I've ever recorded this street on this channel before, even though it's very close to where I live. And this street is kind of notable, at least to me, because back in 2015, a developer proposed to put in, I think, 80 units in a four-story building, and it would feature townhomes and that sort of thing. And a lot of the residents here were quite adamant in fighting against it. And they created a rather ridiculous NIMBY group called Density Creep. So even though there's very large apartment towers right on this street, as well as low rise apartments on the left, they were very opposed to some, what would probably be middle income housing appearing. And I think that development was to be just before I get to Mount Pleasant Road. So I'm curious to see what's become of that. I think it was plots 200 to 240. And on the street just to the south of here, Erskine, they, they were also opposed to a much larger tower, a 35 story one, and their argument was that it was right next to a school. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. Oh, here's where that proposed development is. I'm not sure the status of this project. It doesn't look like anything's happened. FredDevelopments.com with two Ds on Fred. So finally, some nice surface to ride on here. This is Mount Pleasant Road. And I'm on 
pedal assist three. So it's the middle level on this bike. I'm not using the throttle, at least not yet. Although it's quite hot, I imagine I'll be using it later. And I'll turn left here at Broadview, which is coming up. And I'll take this all the way over to Serena Gundy Park and Sunnybrook Park. And that'll take me onto the Wilkett Creek Trail. And I think I'll take that north up to Edwards Gardens. And from there, I'll find my way over to the Moccasin Trail. And I don't think I've ever been around this rainbow tunnel before. It's kind of neat. It's one of those iconic images of Toronto you'll see online every now and then pop up. And there's a cool story behind it. And the reason I couldn't take Broadview over is on the other side of Mount Pleasant, which is in the opposite direction, it is a one-way street. So it heads west between Mount Pleasant and Young. It's kind of a hilly street, so I'll be appreciating the motor on this bike pretty soon. There's also some roundabouts coming up, which are kind of neat. And where the street terminates will spit me out into the park. I've still got th some things on the front end of this bike to sort of tie down and secure, as you can hear some rattling as I hit the bumps, although I have made it quieter. It's really not something I should have to troubleshoot on a new bike, but that might just be the nature of these e-bikes, even though it doesn't have gears or a chain. There's still a lot of cables and parts. My old single speed was super quiet. It's really not much to that bike, mechanically at least. So here comes one of those roundabout intersections. And I've got these big speed bumps here. This is Banff Drive. Well, they've got that roundabout in the middle, but it's not a yield sign, it's a stop sign in every direction. And we've hit the throttle for the first time today. This one doesn't have a stop sign. And coming up is Bayview Avenue. That's a major north to south node in the city. And just to the left here will be the Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center, which is a major hospital in the area. And this should be a Whole Foods just here on the left. The area just to the north of here is Lawrence Park, and that's a rather well-off area. And just to the north of Sunnybrook is the Bridal Path, kind of the ultimate well-off area. That's where Drake's Mansion is. I think my front disc brake has a bit of a squeal to it. I only have 90k on this bike so far, so I 
I think they're still in the process of being broken in. I wasn't sure who was there first. I was at the intersection first, but that was only because he slowly rolled up to the stop sign. Otherwise, it would have been his turn. But he waved me through. So this is taking me, actually we are already in the Lee Side neighborhood. I think everything east of Bayview here is Lee Side, although Lee Side is mostly to the south of here, so this would be the north end of it. There's a big squeal. And I should be hitting the park pretty soon. I think this street kind of forks and the park is on the left. seems to be my rear brake that has that squeal to it that randomly shows up and the front brake seems to have a bit of a pulse to it. All right, so there should be a church right here on the left. Yep, there it is, the North Lee United Church. And I think this is where the street kind of forks, and I want to stay left here to get into the park. Although there's a do not enter sign. So I will go around that median thing the proper way. And we should have a fun little downhill here. I last came through here on a live stream. and I lost my connection in the park. So here is Serena Gundy Park. This sits just to the south of Sunnybrook Park, but it's really all kind of one giant park. And I think there's some neat mountain biking trails in here. check my speed a little bit as this is not the smoothest of surface and it's kind of a blind turn here. Thank you.
I didn't even have to hit my bell there. They were all <laughs> screaming bike. So I think I could go left here. That'll take me down to the road that cuts through the park. some kids attending camp in the park right now probably finishing up their day all the more reason to go extra slow all right another fork in the road I think I want to go left here Thank you. Weather. It says caution, cyclist dismount. But I'm just gonna tiptoe through here. There's a nice view though. Maybe I'll test out my dual camera setup. Just look down into the river. Whenever I'm not on a perfectly smooth surface, there seems to be a vibrating sound coming from the bike on top of my squealy disc brakes. I think it's just some cables that I need to tie down a little better. And I believe I want to go left here. And this is the Wilkett Creek on the right. And this will take us up to the Edwards Gardens. Let's do some throttle riding. This is certainly one of the prettier bike rides you could do in Toronto. I think there'll be some nice views coming up.
It's a bit easier to see them from the other side. Like I was on a similar e-bike to the one that I'll be getting. I think just around this bend up here, things look pretty neat. Squealy brakes. I'm gonna turn around. I think I overshot the nicest part. Take a quick peek in here at the river, or I guess creek to be specific. Secondary camera. I always thought this was really cool with those roots kind of hanging down. There's the bike. Okay, let's get back to the main event. Grab a sip of water. And there should be a climb out of this area pretty soon into the Edwards Gardens.
So Edwards Garden straight ahead, Leslie Street to the right. No bicycle riding, cyclists dismount and walk. Okay, I'm walking. We are walking. Is this right? I'm not sure this is right. I kind of feel like I want to be on that trail that runs parallel heading up. I'm going to check my maps here. Because I feel like I'm in the Edwards Gardens themselves and you're not supposed to ride your bike in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, at that fork behind me, I should have... made a right. So let's kind of tiptoe our way back. Quietly and carefully. I don't know that doing it quietly is all that important. This is the way I need it to go. And this should take me up to the parking lot. There's the entrance to the Edwards Gardens, all well, the main part. But we're going to head out to Lawrence Avenue. This is turning into a bit of an adventure. So that's Leslie Street straight ahead. I could make a left there. What are you doing, truck? doesn't seem to know what it's doing. He is still stopped there at the stop sign. So here's Lawrence East. So I should not be far from the Donway, I think. It's called where I want to go. And that is located right around the shops at Don Mills. I did a walk through there in the winter time. Even though I'm not really exerting much energy, I'm still sweating. This is a very hot day. Hopefully my GoPro doesn't overheat itself.
There's a bit of a hill climb coming up. Test of the brakes there. Don knows trail, I think. I could go right here. And connect over to it, but... Nah, we're gonna go the way that I'm pretty sure will get me there. I've already got lost once, kind of. Now this environment is where this bike shines. I don't notice any sounds coming from it, and I'm just effortlessly flying up this hill. We've got a nice smooth road. So what I'll do is I'll loop around the shops at Don Mills. That's a plaza that was built on the side of an old shopping mall. This is it here, the Donway. I want to turn right onto this street. And then the Moccasin Trail, which is going to lead us to the Rainbow Tunnel. The whole point of this excursion will be connected to this. Ooh, fresh tarmac, sweet. If you're wondering, I am going 31 kilometers per hour right now. If it wasn't for that minor, minor rattle, which I think is a cable, this bike would be almost whisper quiet right now. Other than the sound of the rubber on the asphalt. These condos on the left are all new. Well, that's a big pothole there. And here comes another one. You do not want to hit one of these things with skinny road tires like this and going fast. That's probably why they paint them orange on the side there till they can finish paving the road and make them flush. And here's Don Mills Road. So I could have just gone on Lawrence and turned right at Don Mills Road and gone around the shops at Don Mills from the other side. But this works all the same. the street the Ontario Science Center is on. Uh-oh, look at this. The road is completely dug up straight ahead. There's a guy in an e-scooter. I'm not sure. This light's going to get tripped.
Press the, press the button there. Up out the cause. There you go, 17 seconds. So this is the Don Mills neighborhood. And the Moccasin Trail entrance should be on the right. And that'll lead me towards the East Don River. The Don River branches in two. And it does that right around the Thorncliff Park neighborhood into the west and east branches. What is this car doing? Oh, he's trying to figure what to do. All these signs threw him for a loop. Follow me. I don't know where I'm going any more than you do, but. This is weird. Am I supposed to be going this way? I guess these pylons in the middle would seem to indicate that's the case. Oh, there's the moccasin trail on the right. I almost missed it. Fifty-five Greenbelt Drive. So, this is entirely new ground for me. There's a school. I'm assuming I'm going to want to take this fork to the right here. So this tunnel that I'm heading to, I think I want to go left here, was painted as sort of a rainbow. This is Moccasin Trail Park we're entering by a Norwegian, I think he was only 18 years old, back in the early 70s. And I think it was covered up and he would come back out and repaint the rainbow. And eventually, he got some help from locals and they helped repaint it and it sort of became a fixture. And then somewhere around 2013 or 2014, the city of Toronto made it more of a permanent installation. And I think they went over it professionally and they decorated the inside of the tunnel and it's been well maintained since then. At least I think that's the story behind it. Welcome to the East Dawn Trail. And I think if I follow this through, it'll spit me out around the Aga Khan Museum, which is something I've yet to feature on this channel. So I think this is the Dawn Valley Parkway I'm going underneath right now. And coming up should be that rainbow tunnel I just talked about. Oh, they really need to resurface under this tunnel. It's a nice trail. You get the, you get the sound of the highway though. It would have been really nice a few weekends ago when they closed the DVP to traffic. Oh, here it is. I have never seen this before. Well, from this perspective, let's go through it. That guy had a GoPro mounted to his helmet. This is really neat. I mean, I guess this is all it is, but it's kind of an iconic Toronto image.
I'm just gonna hop out and snap a picture with my phone. Maybe I'll pull out the other camera. The bike. Some emergency vehicles flying by. Apparently it's private property up there. I'm not sure the story of this art or if the camera's picking it up all that well. This is one of those areas that isn't the most convenient to get to from a walking perspective. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera away, set my bike up and snap a picture for Insta. Might even be a good thumbnail for this video. Doesn't seem to be too many people here. Wonder if they'll mind. I just set it up like that. It's not quite in the middle, but that'll do. That's not the best uh, position. Maybe if I pull it off to the side. Do one three by four. Okay, that's enough. I might end up speeding that part of the video up. And there we go. The Rainbow Tunnel right next to the Don Valley Parkway here in Don Mills. My GoPro still filming. And here's the part where I try to navigate my way back home. Without really knowing exactly where I'm going. I don't want to backtrack. That's no fun. So, ooh. We have come across the river. So to the north of here, I believe is Lawrence Avenue, right up alongside the Don Valley Parkway. but I probably don't want to go up that way. Really curious how inserting those shots into this video is going to come out. Sorry viewers, you are guinea pigs on this one. So let's go south. This is a really nice trail though. This is the East Dawn Trail. I've covered the Dawn or the Lower Dawn Trail 
in the West Don Trail countless times. Here's a plaque, I wonder what this says. Probably something to do with the wildlife. Oh, it's pointing out that the area to the left is a wetlands area. This is cool, it's an old bridge. Driving over some sand there. I haven't seen too many other riders around here. But I'm glad I saw that tunnel because this is sort of filling in those gaps. So next time I'm through here, I'll know my way around a bit better. Like the other day I was live streaming and another YouTuber actually, CJ Hoyle, suggested I go through Earl Bales Park and I'd never been through there on my bike. And I'd only ever been there once before. So I took his advice and promptly got lost. <laughs> but now I know how the tunnels or the trails, not tunnels, work their way through that park. So for next time, things will be a lot better. Ooh, this is kind of narrow. All right, do I go left or right? I have chosen right. Seems like this hill is quite steep. Too steep for my throttle. Oh wow, I've encountered a hill that I cannot ride up. All right, maybe I'll fast forward this. <laughs> walk of shame. All right, it just occurred to me, I wonder what would have happened if I kept my thumb on the throttle and pedaled, would that have helped? I'm pretty sure I'll speed that part of the video up, but I was talking during part of it and I was saying that I'm pretty sure if I were on my single speed, I just could have pushed my way up that hill. Speaking of hills, here comes another one. So I am on Winford Heights Crescent. So I think if I go straight, this will take me past the Aga Khan Museum. That's an Islamic and Muslim cultural museum. I think Aga Khan himself is a Harvard-educated intellectual, and I think he founded the museum. Hey, we found 
the McDonald's offices. And the museum opened up, I think, in 2014. And it was originally to be on the ground or occupy the old Bata Shoe offices. And they found out that building was not suitable. And it was a really neat old building, but it ended up getting demolished. And they erected, er, erected that museum you see here on the left. Oh, and way off to the south of here, you can see the CN Tower in the Financial District. That's neat. We're going right on top of the Don Valley Parkway. I don't really feel like getting off and <laughs> showing the view with my other camera there, but take my word for it, it was neat. There's the museum on the left. I will have to go there sometime. I've heard great things about it. It looks kind of neat. There's a big can of Post Depot on the right. The Presbyterian Church in Canada, not of Canada, in Canada. And what street is this here? Not one I want to turn on. So at least I know I'm heading in the right direction. There's probably not a whole lot of cyclists that come along here. And I'm pretty sure I want to turn left here. This is Don Mills Road. And both of these are left turn lanes, so I will hang to the right. And there is Young and Eglinton way off in the distance. That guy's getting out of that van right there. That's weird. I thought he wanted to tell me something. Oh, he opened up the door. <laughs> I thought he was trying to tell me something. He opened up the, the door and he looked right at me. I was like, uh. You don't see this every day. Ooh, what a view of the skyline off in the distance there. And what a shit-tastic road this is. Jeez. And here's where the future Don Mills LRT station will be. And straight ahead on the left is the Flemington Park neighborhood. I did a walk through there not too long ago. And the Science Center will be on the right. Not too far past that is Thorncliffe Park. And here is Eglinton Avenue East. I'm now riding west on considered one of the worst roads in the province. I think it was ranked the worst road at one point by CAA, the Canadian Automobile Association. And here's a cool look at an above ground portion of the LRT that's going in. I'm trying to leave cars enough room to squeak through here. And this one car behind me doesn't seem to want to do it, so I'll get in the high gear to get out of their way. Oh, 
always appreciate drivers when they're extra careful. Although they probably could have safely passed. They didn't want to chance it. So there's Sunnybrook Park station just on the left. I guess you still call it a station when it's in the middle of the street and it looks more like a streetcar stop. I might just be the only cyclist <laughs> riding this part of Eglinton today. Oh, this is fun. We're going to merge left and hit a hell of a hill climb. Let's see if I can stay pegged to this minivan here so I don't really slow anyone down behind me. Hauling butt pretty good up this climb. 32 kilometers per hour. And my trusty GoPro keeps recording. I doubt it's gonna last all the way back to Young and Eglinton. Probably just jinxed it. So the LRT is underground and all the tunneling is complete for this section. throttle now. And here's Laird. Ooh, this air is toasty. It still says I have full battery, I guess. I've been pedaling most of the time. I guess I'm that's probably misleading, but I probably haven't used that much battery on this trip. And with the e-bikes, I'm looking to do some longer videos where I get out pretty far. This one's more of a circuit. And I think I've earned some solid throttle time after all that. I also think I've earned a nice cold beer on the balcony after this. What time is it? 3.35. So I think the GoPro is about to kick the bucket at any minute.
to enter another construction disaster up ahead. I could turn right here and take Broadview over, but we already took Broadview. Let's see how cyclist friendly this intersection is coming up. This is Bayview. My early suspicion is not very. It says cyclists. There's a sign regarding cyclists up ahead, but I can't read it. Let's go squish forward a bit. Uneven pavement ahead. Oh, you can say that again. A right turning vehicle here at the front. Turning traffic must yield to two pedestrians. I'm gonna get way out front here. Gee, this intersection's not a total clusterfuck at all, is it? Built with safety in mind. What the hell is this thing? I'm just gonna casually turn with some blocks of crap in front of my... Whatever the hell you call that kind of truck. So the car behind me was... It had its right turn light on, but... It decided to go straight, or it's right, turn signal. And we're back. Just as I had expected. The GoPro battery gave up the ghost. I'm gonna squeak back on to Eglinton here. That was nice to hop off the bike there for a minute. Just kind of get my neck, shoulders, and back. A little break. This here is Banff Road. I remember passing this in the other direction. I'm just gonna ride pretty much straight home now. Not necessarily back to where I started recording this. Now my battery indicator has dropped. My impressions of this bike are quite good when I'm on a smooth surface <laughs> and when I'm not, I wish it would shut the hell up and stop making noise, but the good news is I think those are all sounds I can troubleshoot. It just sounds like cables and stuff rattling around. And I think these brakes are going to wear in. They're still very much in the break-in period. And 
And here's another construction disaster. This is Mount Pleasant coming up. There'll be an underground station here. captain I would say we've just hit some choppy waters and it's into the young Eglinton neighborhood here's Red Path Avenue Had enough of Eglinton. And this is Roehampton, which is a one way street going west now. Now it's over to Broadway Avenue, but this is a stretch I didn't take the first time because this part is one way. It was turned into a one way earlier this year. apartments on the left were at least a homeless shelter during the pandemic. Now they're being demolished. I have to make sure that girl saw me, otherwise I think she was bound to become roadkill at some point crossing the street like that. There's North Toronto Collegiate on the left, as this neighborhood was once known as North Toronto. We've got cars going the wrong way here. Cyclists going the wrong way. What is going on? I'm gonna stay to the left here, let any cars turn right. right back to the immediate vicinity of where I live. It's easier now to just run across the street like that knowing it's a one way. All right, here we are. Hope you enjoyed that bike adventure over from here in Young and Eglinton to the Rainbow Tunnel on the East On Trail, which was connected to the Moccasin Trail. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and what you thought of these alternate camera angles <laughs> throughout the trip. Were they unnecessary, annoying, pointless? Maybe they added some value? I probably won't do this on the shorter rides, but on the longer ones, 
might make sense, especially when I hop off the bike and take a bit of a break. But on that note, if you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and Instagram in the description, as well as YouTube channel membership. Thanks for watching, guys. And I shall catch you on the next one.